I'm gonna change the scene right here. Watch this. Ooh, full webcam, let's go. <sighs> Welcome to the first ever cooking stream live from Zagreb. From my small kitchen, you'll see it's um, it's compact, but uh, we'll get things done. Don't worry. Uh, l let me show you with the cam, uh, with the webcam first. So this way, we have the stove, and then we have the camera and the light, and there's my empty, poor empty living room, as you can see. So that's why it's so echoey because I don't have a living room approximately what's the mic in the background this is zoom h1 but this is a backup thanks for cooking stream so only if something breaks because right now i'm using this lavalier microphone you need a big tv in the kit dude check out what i have right now I have a 13 inch laptop or 14 maybe. By the way, we can zoom in even though it's a prime lens. <gasps> yeah, look at all the lighting. I bought that. I bought that yesterday just so I could put something in the corner to light up my face because it's right behind the camera. Okay, you have a tripod that is blocking the whole kitchen. <laughs> oh, shall we start? Cheers, guys. By the way, shout out again to Brass Knuckles for sending this in. Amazing. So, you have the recipe. Maybe I should uh, take a look at it. I just wrote it from my head. It's probably missing a few ingredients. Um, yeah, um, chili. Depends on what you want in it, though. Sometimes you don't want all that stuff. Wait, let me put it like this. I'm I'm a little bit broad when it comes to amounts. I just write ginger because you could put I don't know how much ginger. You don't have to put any ginger. It doesn't matter that much. Okay, we got a little bit of ginger. We got some garlic. Maybe I could uh, touch the, the f-stop a little bit more so it's uh, sharper around the edges. 3.5. Okay, we're ready. So what we're gonna do first, I'm gonna show you my fridge. Cauliflower rice. Yes. Woo. I don't want to lift it in the fridge. Now it's freaking cold. Um, there's about a kilo here. Samsung fridge. Yeah. There's about a kilo here. So it's for maybe like five people. So we're going to be cooking for the whole family. Which isn't here. But doesn't matter because I, I can eat for a full family sometimes. Maybe, yeah, doesn't matter. When I'm cooking, I'm always cooking like three, four meals. Of course, we're gonna be using olive oil. I've got, uh, it's not extra virgin. It's like extra, extra, extra virgin oil, homemade. My parents uh, uh, make it every year. We have uh, olives, olive trees quite a few down in Dubrovnik, so that's what I use a lot. All right, a leek. Uh, we're gonna need some garlic for later, so I'm gonna do some extra ones. Mm, this is not good enough. These are very small. So, the, the very easy way to do garlic, you just crush it a little bit with the knife. Oh, by the way, this is the, you can find this knife 
the link to this knife and in the document and exclamation mark hmm i'm not sure if i have it but exclamation mark gear the Wustaf Santoku icon uh, classic icon this got deleted somehow but yeah german steel yes let me show you you crush it and then the bottom part you just cut off and then you pull down and it should go all together if it does if it doesn't you just pull on the top and uh, voila that's it it's really really easy if you crush it first so crush it a little bit you don't have to go a lot cut the bottom part pull it and pull the top part So yeah, I hope you guys are excited. We're gonna be cooking finally. I've been talking about this for like a year. I would, I want to do it, and I finally have a chance. And the setup itself really isn't that hard for me to uh, make. It takes me about a half an hour maybe to set up. So yeah. All right, that's the garlic. So this is for uh, both meals, both dishes. I got a, a non-stick with a glass lid, but the lid is, it's fine. But it's a really nice uh, non-stick pan. I don't want to do it in a wok. I'm going to reuse this for the next dish as well. So just, I don't know how you guys cut garlic. I just make like little cubes. nothing special some people mince it like fully mince it don't look at the stream when you're chopping see what happens it all falls apart well if you got the right technique there's no way you can cut yourself there's just no way you know what I'm worried about guys think about it what if I cut myself while cooking on stream I'm, am I gonna get banned for self-harm I'm serious Try it. I'm I, I'm not gonna try it. But now when I'm when I move it, I, I wonder what's gonna happen. So we're gonna put half of this in the pan. The other half we're gonna use later. So let me grab a plate for the stuff we're gonna use later. So always use the back of your knife when you're scraping like this because there's no reason for you to damage it like that. Not necessarily damage it, but it does, it's not sharp anymore if you keep doing it every day. It gets dull real fast. Uh, when it comes to sharpening the knife, I definitely have to do that right now. All right, uh, this one is a little bit old. Is it still focused well here, guys? Does it, uh, maybe with the knife, you can see where it becomes very focused. Okay. I'm gonna try to do it from an angle. So we're gonna cut off these old leaves. This looks fine. Wash it a little bit. Because uh, Corona, of course. Oh, by the way, in Croatia, how many cases do we have today in Croatia? Do you guys even know? Do they even know? Maybe single digit. We had one yesterday and two the day before. So we had five cases in three days total. It's pretty good. This is a giant leak. Dude, this is a normal leak. Uh, a pursuit, thank you for 14 months. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna be efficient. 
at least try to, and we're gonna cut it like this. All right. Oh, this is gonna be rough. This is very hard. But we, we've sharpened the knife, guys. So yeah, just like this. Maybe, nah, this is fine. Is spring onion a good substitute for leek? Because it isn't available here. Just use normal onions. You don't have to use leek. It's just, uh, it's just personal preference. Sometimes I use onions, sometimes I use leek. It really doesn't matter. Let's take a peek in the fridge. It's my favorite part. Okay, uh, three eggs. Don't run away. Stay there. Good. <laughs> they got uh, a little bit nervous. So many people watching. <laughs> the Croats are gonna love this because all, all the Croatian brands. I've got 25% fat cream, which is basically the, it's like 30% is the max that you can get in the shop. Yeah, this is a low carb uh, kitchen guys, slash keto. We cannot go high heat. That's a that's a rule with, with olive oil. So we're gonna be on medium heat for the most part. Now the flames are pretty big as you can see. I've got a good stove when it comes to that. And now I'm gonna put it on medium. Now, since I kind of wanna get this done as fast as possible, like get it to um, soften up. I'm gonna use a little bit of salt right away. Okay, maybe we can put that in some spices, okay. I've got turmeric. This is what I use a lot, especially in this dish. It always goes in this dish. So you can put as much as you want. I like it a little bit more. It's not curry, but it, it's almost the same color. So turmeric. We call it curcuma. And it's called something like that in a lot of languages, except in English, which uses a totally different term for it. But okay. See, it turns yellow. Yeah, turmeric is very healthy, yes. Don't worry. As you, as you can see, it's reducing in size. And then we're gonna add the cauliflower. And then at the end, we're gonna add eggs and then cream, and that's about it. Here we go. This is a, a kilo, almost a full kilo of cauliflower. Uh, well, it was 1.1 kilo, which is two to two and a half pounds the whole cauliflower, so this is a little bit less, this is about two pounds, a little bit less than a kilo of grated cauliflower. There's a lot of it. So yeah, guys, cooking stream, huh? I've been preparing this for, for two days. I almost didn't sleep how long I was getting all the text, text stuff right and uh, just getting everything ready because this was a big project that I had zero clue about just yesterday or two days ago and I had to think everything through and make it customizable enough adjustable enough so we can add a little bit more oil it looks a tad bit dry so olive oil I forgot to add this a little bit of uh, paprika I think you call it paprika absolutely outstanding honestly so glad to have found you on the internet bro Look, you have to add a lot of spices to this because look at how bulky this is. A little bit of turmeric and salt. Break is key to Hungarian cooking, putting everything is rule. Yeah, pretty much the same for us, man. So this needs about, well, it depends on how soft you want this. It can be a little bit, you know, soggy sometimes. Um, I do like it when it's uh, properly cooked. I don't like it when it's crunchy. Your mic catches cooking sound. It's like hissing sound. 
because that's what cooking sounds like. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. It's just... It's, <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. I, I guess that's what people want, right? <laughs> My boy. Man, this is so fun. I've been really looking forward to the cooking stream, honestly, guys, because um, it's something that I uh, invest a lot of time in every day, and I've been doing it for, for a few years now, and I wanted to change it up. I, I, I don't want to sit and play games. I want to... I want to do other stuff. I mean, sure, I, I do want to play games, but you know, nothing too inspiring now for me to play. And um, why not do something like this and maybe record YouTube videos and not necessarily cooking, just other stuff. All right, trash close. So just pop them in. They're gonna mix. You don't want anything but the eggs to mix. Three eggs, I would go for even more, honestly, but I don't want to scare you guys with the amount of eggs because we're going to be using eggs later too. Again, a lot of people, this is not even one egg per person. I would say, I would say another one. Yeah, let's put another one. Very important to do this in a non-stick pan because if you don't do it, <laughs> You're not gonna have fun with this dish. Whenever you're putting eggs into something like this, they just stick all around the pan. And in this non-stick, as you can see, look at this, nothing. Um, I'm getting a Rode Wireless Go wireless microphone system. So the miking is gonna be uh, better next time. It's not gonna be over Bluetooth. I'm gonna be able to use my phone. Yes, my phone. And all the fat haters in the chat, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go nuts now. Oh. One. Two. Let's go for three. Three. Look at this, this is the best part. Mm. Mm. So this is the side, if you're on keto, this is your go-to side dish. Instead of potatoes, instead of rice, instead of pasta, in instead of anything, you would probably want to have something like this. This is ideal. This has almost zero carbs in it. It, it. it does have a little bit of leak. You could substitute it with something a little bit less uh, starchy, but you can remove the onion part, the leak part, and just, be, uh, just have garlic and this. For four people and there's 500 of us. Dude, there's 500 people watching this, damn. Thank you guys. Really appreciate it. That's it. I, I even got the salt right. Nice. That's it. It doesn't tastes like something spectacular but if you can eat it just by itself it's more than good enough if you ask me yeah this is what i do all day this is why I'm, i don't stream guys i just wash dishes it's going all over the place uh remember i just moved into this apartment and this is a 10 year old kitchen which isn't old but the problem is some uh solutions weren't the best in this kitchen we can start the main part, and that is the pork stir fry. I have 600 grams of pork tenderloin. Is it tenderloin or is it fillet? I think it's the same thing, 
in, in English, right? Okay, so we're gonna marinate the meat first. We need the meat, we need an egg, not necessary, depends on what you want. Uh, soy sauce, uh, vinegar, I have this Italian vinegar, aceto. Let me show you here. It's just some brand, doesn't matter. Just a little bit of vinegar. I kind of like the taste of the vinegar and something like this. A little bit of salt, pepper, sesame oil, and you can, <laughs> yeah, we're definitely gonna go for the optional one. <laughs> it says tiny strips of bacon. Uh, let me find a little bit. We got just a little bit of bacon. Cut it like this. Very, very, very thin. Because we're going for the taste. The thinner you make it, more flavor you're gonna get out. And this is gonna get stir fried now. Stir fried bacon. I mean, technically you do that every time you, you put it on pan, but it is a little bit higher heat in stir fry. Right, so this is the tenderloin. 600 grams in this one. Oh, I forgot the focus is on, sort of. It looks, I guess it looks tougher than it is. You don't necessarily have to go against the grain and all of that because you're, you're kind of so thin that that, that that stuff doesn't matter. This isn't a steak, this is just a pork stir fry. This, this meat is already so soft that you don't need to pay special attention while you're uh, preparing it, while you're cut, cutting it. Is this salmon? This reminds me of something, I'm not sure what. Maybe some fish. Looks like tuna. Yeah, tuna, tuna, tuna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it, that's it, that's it. Correct. Let's uh, marinate this. So the, the trick is, you don't want a lot of liquid. Because when you're stir frying, if you have a lot of liquid or marinade, um, you just cook the meat instead of frying it. You want to fry it. You want to roast it, sort of. Um, so let's start with salt. Not too much, because we're going to be using uh, soy sauce a lot. This is not a lot of salt for this much meat. And we're gonna add a little bit of pepper. Again, not too much. My average intake of carbs, maybe not even 50 grams. Depends, sometimes, maybe. Okay. You know, what you call it, the Italian vinegar, I guess. Just a little bit, okay? And then sesame oil. When you go into my kit.co, you wanna order this one? I love this one. It's pure chemistry, it's like the unhealthiest one there is. I love it. It's, it's, it's amazing. That yeah, looks good. So, soy sauce. Is this keto diet? Something similar, yes. See, this is dark soy. Not a lot, guys. I would love to put starch in this. There are some alternatives, because when you add starch, it adds another layer, and then uh, everything becomes softer inside the meat. There's a protective layer around the meat, and it thickens up. The sauce thickens up. So starch is ideal in this. But unfortunately cannot use that. If I want to keep it low carb. I do sometimes put it. Don't think that I'm sticking to this 24-7 the whole year. It's a week of doing proper stuff and then a cheat day or two. And then a week or two doing properly. Mm. I'm gonna cut it from this side. No. 
sometimes it's it's not good when the the skin is tougher yeah definitely a potato peeler is the best way to go for this one and then just uh, cut it in the smallest pieces possible I like the taste of it I don't like when I bite on it that much um, it's fine but I'd rather not should have done this earlier there we go can put it on the plate here no grater? No, this is fine. Hopefully, I have one onion, I think. Hopefully it's still good. These don't last too long, typically. I got a white onion. I never get these. Yeah, Frix, there's no big pieces now. Yeah, it's good still. Perfect. So big onion. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's already starting to uh, decay because it's a week old and these ones don't just, they cannot hold up. Yeah, you can see right here. It's, it's going through the, the first layer. Okay. So I'm just gonna cut it like this, thin, that's it. It's a stir fry. It goes really well with stir fries, cutting like this. I love how they advertise the Santoku knives with the hollow edge that it's for, uh, it, it, so does, the food doesn't stick to the side, as we can see. <laughs> of course, I didn't buy the knife because of that, but. That's it. This is a little bit of an old one. I got a yellow one. I prefer red ones for all stir fries. They're so, so tasty. Halves to clean them up, but these are some weird ones. Uh, a pro tip. When cutting bell peppers, never cut from the outer side. Always from inside because outside, it's very hard to cut through the skin. But if you cut from the inside, you just easily go through. And just, just strips like this. Indian. Uh, I can make, uh, I can do Indian or Indonesian food for sure. I was actually thinking of cooking Indonesian food. Okay, we got this for now. Bat soup. Got the latest recipes. So yeah, just peel them. All right, so how you cut them into strips? The easiest way, I would say. You do it angled like this. You cut them into slices. Something like this, all right? And now you group them back together. And now you do it this way. But these are so long and thin that this is very hard to do. See, it's pretty fast. So this one's going much better. See how nice they turn out, perfect. Um, this goes with the onion. I'm kind of grouping it up when stuff is going in. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it all together. 
that. Nah, these aren't these aren't roasted uh, bell peppers. No, they're just cooked, pasteurized. Whatever that means, whatever they do to them, they're not necessarily. These aren't roasted. Typically, these in a jar are roasted, but no, not these ones. Let's prepare tomato sauce because if you don't have everything prepared, you're, you're gonna burn the wok, the, the the stir fry completely if you have to do something. Uh, is it a spicy dish? Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit spicy. Yeah. Okay, and salt. This is salt. I love this dispenser. It, it looks so so much like a salt dispenser and it's awesome i'm putting in coconut oil i cook on high heat with coconut oil it's the best if you're on this type of diet all right when it starts to smoke well we can add a little bit of coconut oil mm -hmm. this is gonna be loud now so get ready Perfect. Just spread it around. Mmm, the bacon smell. Ooh. You always put just a little bit of bacon, but you don't have to put a lot to get that perfect smell. <laughs> now, I don't typically put bacon in stir fries, but this one, it's, it's good. You don't want to start like bashing all around with it. Let it sear for like 45 seconds. And then it's not gonna stick. Oh, in this pan, it wouldn't stick anyway, but if you're cooking in a wok like this, oh, I didn't show you the wok. I have to show you the wok. Then it would stick. Let me prepare where we're gonna put it. Okay, this is just for, because we're gonna take it out. And then we're gonna do the vegetables and then we're gonna connect it. It's better. You want it to get a little bit of color on the other side and then you flip it. Don't want to touch it too much before it gets a little bit of color. Is that beef? No, it's pork. It's pork tenderloin. Is it good? Mm, let a little bit more. I'm not used to stir frying in this pan. I typically do it in the wok. The wok is a lot thinner. So when it's thinner, uh, the heat is uh, transferred better early on. This one is a lot thicker. You can cook anything in this, but. And also it's non-stick, so it's not gonna catch a lot of color. Okay, now we're gonna stir it. You don't have to do any fancy moves in a super non-stick. Uh, this is a brand new one. If I was in a wok, I would be you know, throwing it like this and uh, stirring it a little bit more aggressively. Don't have to do it right now. So this is the color that you're kinda aiming for. Also, you don't want to cook it for too long. This is this is done. That's it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Look at all that steam. All right. Put some oil in again. This is coconut oil, that's why it's solid. Don't worry about it. 
high heat why coconut oil because there's not that many alternatives when you're on a low carb diet when to use like healthy fat oils fatty oils I don't use any kind of soybean oil or sunflower or any of those uh, like <laughs> terrible things but I go for coconut oil olive oil avocado oil we don't have in Croatia so I don't use that whoa olive oil you cannot use for stir fries because it, it's it's dangerous if it gets in high heat it's not healthy so you use it mostly for salads or for low heat cooking like we use it for the cauliflower okay just going in and I'm gonna throw in the garlic and the ginger right away Yo, OCD guys, how much is this piece of uh, bell pepper bothering you that it's in? <laughs> Can feel the smell. Mm -mm. Yeah, for now we're not seasoning. We're, we, we're gonna do it a little bit later. Oh my god, this onion, the, the white onion smells so good. Definitely need bell peppers going in. Probably should have gone earlier. Depends on how you want them. Some people want them to be really well cooked. Some like them half raw. I don't know. I, anything goes for me. Just splitting some of the, the, the biggest pieces with the spatch. You gonna eat all this? Of course. Maybe not tonight, but we're gonna play around with the camera and the settings later on. Maybe a romantic dinner with Spreezy. Oh my god. Crunchy veggies. Hmm. Not too much salt. Like this is, I'm not gonna put any more salt. I'm gonna put some soy sauce in. So that's really salty. Um, it's almost as salty as a Twitch chat sometimes. But I, I don't think anything can be Twitch chat. And now this is where you can go absolutely bonkers. I'm just I'm gonna put it here so you see how much I put that's about it I don't want more than that because I, I'm not feeling it tonight this is pretty hot I mean these are seeds you can't tell how hot they are but they're really hot someone in Twitch chat is gonna be like I'll give you a hundred bucks if you put a tablespoon in there I can see it already. The red one's going in now. It's already uh, pre-cooked, so it was pickled. So you really don't need a lot of time. Technically, you don't have to cook it at all. It's perfectly fine like that. But I want the flavor to go into the dish. So the eggs don't stick. Of course, this again, this is a brand new non-stick. So it won't stick anyway. I'm going in with three eggs. I can say, dude, well you use so many eggs. Well yeah. What else are you gonna eat when you're on this diet? Are you gonna eat vegetables? <laughs> oh no. I'm kidding. Of course you eat vegetables. As you can see, it's mostly vegetables. I'm not gonna put any more salt.
Don't want to mix it up too soon because I want little pieces of it and not not little crumbles like breadcrumbs of eggs. I want it to be uh, to be able to bite into a, an egg. And you know when you eat Chinese food, when they put eggs in, it's always little bits and pieces. So let's try to get that by doing this. So when you stir it, you leave it for three, five, ten seconds. To kind of bunch up and to uh, get together. All right. Now we're going in. Soy sauce. It's like a half a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon of soy sauce. Look at that color now. <laughs> oh man, this smell when you put it in. I love it. Pickled eggs? Never heard of that. So I didn't try it now. We're going on with oyster sauce. And a little bit of tomato sauce, just to make it saucier. <laughs> because we're eating it with uh, cauliflower. Maybe you want a little bit of sauce. It goes well with pork too. Six hundred people watching Spreezy cook, dude. This is this is the content that people want to watch. I'm telling you. By the way, is there anyone new? Is there anyone that opened up food and drink and just tuned into the stream? Let me know in the chat, please. Hi, the food is looking good. It's looking really good. Okay, now with the meat. Now, what I typically have is a little bit of chicken stock or, or beef stock that I put in at the end if I want to. I could have done that now because I have some, but uh, well, I think this is perfectly fine. You know what? Last minute change. Last minute. I don't typically do this. Some crunchy cabbage. To top it off. Your wife is next to you watching Perfect Z. We should make this tomorrow. I mean, look, a lot of people do this. It's, this is nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. This is your typical YouTube recipe, sort of. I added it at the end because I want it crunchy. Now, uh, what would be great to make it look better? Um, um, starch and water mixed up, and then you pour it in, and then it all gets so, oh my God, the, it just looks phenomenal. And it tastes really good, it thickens up. Again, low carb, that's why this isn't the, the tastiest possible. Carbs taste really good, but this is as close as it can get. All right, turn it off. It's salty enough. I do feel a little bit of spice. 
but it's not that spicy like you said i'm a chicken tonight it's not that spicy but the taste is good it could be a little bit more uh, watery so the stock would have been good but i like it i don't want to over exaggerate not the face of approval it's good but uh, i could i could guys you're not the ones here i could taste this and be like, oh my god this is the best thing i ever had no it's good i cook every day okay i cook twice every day and i cook this all the time if it was really 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 good then uh, i would let you know so let me show it to you on this cam For dessert, we're gonna have strawberries, Greek yogurt, and some nuts. That's your low carb dessert. Ivan Pop with the four months. Thank you very much for the resub. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you guys for all the resubs today and the donations. Okay, so what I like to do, I, I like to slice them like this. After I'm done with the dessert, I'm going to be setting up the, the date table. Now I'm going to grab a full hand of walnuts and i'm not even gonna crush them or anything i just like them whole okay now i've got a little bit of roasted almonds does it say kokosnuss on the coconut jar no it says uh ule. it's in croatian Mmm, mm. so good. I've got some peanut butter, but I'm not gonna put it in. I'll skip. And now the last part. Greek yogurt. I'd say two big spoons. mix it up and that's the dessert this is what i have every day i change up the fruit it's raspberries blackberries um well it's typically the the low carb berries strawberries blueberries sometimes but they're not that great and uh, nuts mostly walnuts i like walnuts Was there a picture of Australia on the yogurt? <laughs> yeah, this is a dessert. Let's get the main dish ready and then I'm gonna move the setup. I bought this cheese. Uh, it's hard cheese from our most famous cheese island in Croatia, Otokpag. It's not P O G, it's P A G. It's not pog like pog champ it's pog okay and it's a uh, hard cheese this this is our famous cheese the most famous cheese the thing is this isn't the, the expensive version of it this is the affordable version of it but it's still insanely insanely tasty i think i've linked it in the kit.co if you want to check it out
That's it. Don't want too much. Got so much stuff to eat that this, I'd say the amount you would, as much as you would eat, I don't know, mashed potatoes. Put the cheese on the side. And now with the wok, it's still smoking hot. Nah, it's, it's perfect. You want the wok to be um, warm. The cauliflower, no. You, you do want it to cool down a little bit. So that's why I've cooked it earlier. It's better like this. Here we go, guys. Can you see the, the, the smoke, the vapor? Yeah, you can. Nice. You can get married now. Yeah, that's true. That's the, that's the good old Croatian saying. GG. But we're not done yet. Now we're gonna go and uh, have a romantic dinner. Let's see how the cam is gonna act in the, a low light in 4K. Yeah, we're going on a date now. Okay, I'll eat because you guys, um, you guys are worried for me because I didn't eat for so long. Mmm. Yeah, it's really good. This is... Mmm. Is what I typically have for my one meal a day or two meals a day. Something like this, yeah.
You see guys, 500 people watching me do a cooking stream. I would have 500 people playing PUBG. I wouldn't have a lot more, or even that sometimes. So I'm really gr grateful that you guys came in and supported this because this is this is a passion of mine, also a project that I wanted to do, and I think it went well today. I had some technical issues, but minor stuff that we fixed real fast. And I think this is something that we can do a lot more often. Uh, I'll get better gear, and I'll get better at this as well. So thank you so much for, for all the support, and I hope you I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna make a YouTube video out of this. I'm actually cycling around Zaga. Uh, I'm not sure I have the gear for that to stream cycling. Defex, thank you for Prime, appreciate it. Uh, we could do cycling videos. Oh, we got the hub chain? Gambaro gifted a tier one sub to Shivan to 1412. I'm sorry, guys. I'm missing a lot of. Uh... Did we? Scampero, thank you for gifting a sub. Oof, it is a little bit hot. Sometimes you, you get a few of those uh, flakes together. Um, so this took three hours to prepare. So it's worth the time. Of course it's worth the time, but um, I'm doing what I like. I'm doing my job and I get to eat on my job. You thought that gaming streams were the, the dream job? Think twice. Think again. Dude, I get to freaking eat.
Why did I decide to switch to this type of diet? That's a good question. I was getting way too fat. I had, for, for my standard. expensive it is because you have to eat high quality food i'm not saying fats you know, just high quality food you need to eat more vegetables than you do with with your average normal diet it is cynics it is a big change how you doing man But guys, this is how I eat every day, approximately the same. Man, it's taking so long because of the, all the talking. What hours do you keep with the fasting? So basically, I don't eat until I'm really hungry. So I don't eat um, until at least noon, sometimes like three, four o'clock. Then I eat. Latest I eat is six. So sometimes I eat one meal and that's it. Sometimes I eat two or three meals. Depends on how hungry I feel. Mm. So I typically fast for like 20 hours. 18, 20, 22 hours. Depends on the day. I used to, uh, I started with 16, 8 and that was a big challenge these days. See, when I'm fasting for 16 hours, I felt I feel like I ate all day long and I ate too much. I don't need that much food anymore. But you can eat more if you're fasting constantly, on average. You can eat more.
It is a date. ultra. I don't know why people are dude. This is like a date. This is a date. You see, cooking streams, music streams, and I need to get my bike and uh, just ride it right here. And uh, then we got it all in one. How's the sound? reading twitch chat and playing this is a little bit hard master puppets sounds funny on this one for sure but I could technically best if we want to do a music stream you guys can post your suggestions of the songs that we, you would like to hear and then I try to learn them in like a day or two um, does anyone know Omnia Firahuri that's the song that one of the few songs that I know on this one Yeah, does that sound familiar? You see how loud it is when it goes up? Game of Thrones team. Okay, I can try that. I can try. Game of Thrones. Close, all right. 
If you enjoyed this video, you might be interested in one of these two videos as well. Come join us on Twitch TV for some live daily action. If you're new to this YouTube channel, feel free to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.